underway with the fair start. Again, Calgary on the outside in red, Alberta in gold in the middle, and Saskatchewan on the inside in white are your three contestants for this men's 4x4. Four four. Alberta taking the lead off of Calgary early on, who's going to also be cut by Saskatchewan. Again, two laps for each runner in this four-leg 4x400 four meter race. Alberta and Saskatchewan jostling hard as they're able to come inside now for that inside lane. It is Saskatchewan with that inside position. Alberta, though, going to try to make the pass on the backside as they head towards the final turns of the first leg. Second legs have made their way out on the track. It's still Saskatchewan in the lead. Handoffs, as always, critical in a relay. It'll be Saskatchewan and Alberta actually the handoff virtually at the same time. Saskatchewan's lead runner goes crashing to the floor. Hope he's okay. We'll check on him in a minute. But Saskatchewan with about a one stride lead over Alberta. Their first and second. Calgary decently far back in third, but closing a little bit of the gap. Saskatchewan now trying to stretch. They head towards the final stretch of lap number one of the second leg. It's still Saskatchewan. Alberta trying to pass on the inside before the turn. Nope, can't do it. Saskatchewan continuing to hold the lead that they've held for virtually the entire race. Calgary well back in third. The runner looks to be struggling a little bit. Alberta trying for the pass on the outside. Saskatchewan still defiantly holding them off. It's a heck of a race between the provincial rivals, Huskies and Golden Bears. And look what it means just for the second leg runners for the handoff as Alberta will get that handoff a split second ahead. And a good handoff it was as Josh Lee of the Golden Bears has it. And off he goes. One of the best 300 meter runners in the nation. He's going to have to run 100 meters further than that. But here he comes in the lead for the first time has become significant. It's Lee for the Golden Bears making his way around with about a two-second lead on Saskatchewan as he heads into his second lap. Calgary well back in third. Josh Lee for Alberta continuing to stretch again. Alberta comes in sixth in the nation, second in Canada West in this event, 319.37 seconds. Their season best. They need to knock a few seconds off of that to qualify automatically for nationals. Lee. Hard around will hand off to the anchor leg, and it's going to be a Sapa. The handoff is good, and here he comes. Excuse me, that's Justin Rose. Justin Rose with it, and Alberta has a massive lead now, and the only question is whether or not they're going to get that qualifying standard. Alberta has stretched what was neck and neck through two laps, has just absolutely blown it wide open by about 30 meters they lead, maybe more, as they continue to stretch heading to the final lap. 252, Alberta. Is going to have to run about a 23 second uh, final lap to hit that uh, to best their season best, but they continue to lead. They'll hold on here, and this will clinch the Pandas Open title for the Golden Bears as well. All that's in play. Will they get that time? Here comes Alberta to the finish at 315, 16, 17, at 317.86 seconds. That will vault Alberta up into fourth in the nation. They were sixth. They just leapfrog Manitoba and Toronto. They now have the top four by 400 time in Canada West this year. It is just shy of a national automatic qualifying mark. But if they run it like that in two weeks time, they should have no problems being able to head towards Canada West any or to the nationals anyways, because that time is better uh, significantly, almost a second better than Manitoba ran uh, which was Canada West best until just then. That also, that time, it was just 0.13 seconds. No, math is hard. That also just set the meet record. The record that was set in the first iteration of the Pandas Open in 2016 was just broken by Alberta by 0.83 seconds. So congratulations to the Golden Bears 4x400 meter relay team. They finish up our track portion of this event.